Hey everyone, this is Jim from jimgalliano.com. I wanted to make a quick video for my WordPress friends out there. Um, I know a lot of you run smaller agencies and I wanted to just talk about a few things that I've seen um, coming around the bend. And I'm not talking about the bend that's 10 miles down the road. I'm talking about maybe a quarter mile down the road as far as time goes. Um, it's coming quickly. And so I don't know if you're aware of this or not. So I just want to put it out there. Uh, first thing is that you know a lot of changes are coming to WordPress as a platform. Um, WordPress, for a lot of people, is a, kind of an end-all, be-all as far as their business goes over the last several years. I started with it back in 2008 because I saw the trend. I saw the way things were going. A content management system was the only way to keep up with the quickening pace of change online. But things have changed again. Um, right now I'm on my home page. Um, where I do plan, build, connect, basically what I've been doing since 1998, but I've been doing a lot. I've changed quite a bit since I first started online. I still have an agency, but my focus is a little bit different. I, I don't focus on one particular niche. I focus on the people that live in, the, in my city and in the surrounding areas, and that's how I've built up my business with a multiple types of clients. Doctors, lawyers, dentists, spas, restaurants, entrepreneurs, I mean, you name it. And I probably had them um, as a client and or do right now at one point or another. So one of the things that I've noticed is that there's a lot of people that are struggling right now because I, it, it's not that they're not intelligent people, but I don't think they're aware of all the changes and they're, they're having difficulties com committing to a plan of action. So... One of the things that I noticed was that, um, for example, WordPress doesn't have a great, in, in my estimation, in my opinion, they really don't have a great um, shopping cart checkout system. Now, if you have a stripped down site and all you're going to do is sell a few things, but if you try and make WordPress too many things, it's almost safer to do it on different installs. For example, Maybe I have my uh, top level site here, and if I'm going to run a membership site, maybe I do a separate install um, in a separate folder of WordPress to handle that, and there's less, in other words, plugins on that install to cause a conflict. And depending on what's, what theme you're using and what plugins you're using, um, some of the updates cause more of a problem than others. But I've never really had a lot of a confidence in the Woo Commerce system. Now, I know I'm going to get some thumbs down or dislikes for that, but on the other hand, you know, people have videos of babies taking their first step and they get thumbs down, so I, I guess I have good company. But I'm just putting it out there. Again, this is just my opinion, but I'm, I'm trying to generate some food for thought here. So one of my clients um, who has a spa, they recently moved to this system. It's called Mind Body, and this system basically focuses in on people who are in the spa health niche. And if you look under here, if you click down this drop down, um, they cover everything fitness, yoga, spas, uh, massage, wellness, Pilates, personal training, all different types. And they have a small business solution and they have an enterprise solution. And basically, how it works is you sign up for this and you can buy whatever level you want. Here's the pricing here. Now, I'm not selling this, by the way, but look at the prices here from 75 a month. And this is for mainly brick and mortar businesses, people that have a physical business. We're not just talking about online where you're selling uh, downloadable materials or audios, videos, or anything like that. But so these prices for an offline business, I mean, this is nothing really. And what you get in here um, with the features is um, you have online booking. They have a marketing system that's built in. They have point of sale so you can run credit cards. They have client retention tools, staff resources, reports, and all of this automation that's built in. And when you want to step it up a bit, they have all these apps that are white labeled that you can take care of. Now, here's the thing. I mean, they have a big support team and you can call and, and, and get uh, your questions answered here. You see this little pop up here. Somebody's chatting with you. So if you were going to try and duplicate this on a WordPress site, number one, it's going to cost a small fortune, right, for you to build this for somebody. And on the other hand, how are you going to maintain it? So the, the people that run the business, they're, they're busy running their business. They don't want to be updating plugins all the time, and they don't want to be working with code. 
Um, and even if they hire you for a maintenance plan, it would almost make sense for you. I'm just throwing this out there. Um, if you resold a service like this rather than try and build your own because there's a whole team behind it. Now, I have one system that I sell that I have an entire team behind. I have my web development business and I have my marketing consulting. I love the marketing consulting because it's very simple. I'm able to look at pieces like this and I'm able to recommend what would be the best fit for a person. Now, what's always the best fit for a client isn't always the best fit for me. In other words, um, it, it, would, it would cost my client too much money for, for me to build this for them. I guess that's really what I'm trying to say. And, and more importantly for you. So you really can't compete with a service like this unless you're going to become a service like this yourself. And if you are, you're no longer a small business or a small agency. You're a growing agency. Because I've heard people who are in the smaller SaaS businesses, software as a service, they can't compete with the bigger SaaSes. They just don't have the money to uh, be adding features every month and to keep things up going. They don't have the cash flow to do it. But businesses like this have investors. I want to look at a few other ones. Here's another one. And uh, one of my spa or my um, hair salon clients uses this, uses this one. It's called Demand Force. And again, look at what they have in here built in appointment reminders, reputation management, marketing communications, Facebook marketing, local listings. They have all that in here and they cover these intra in these industries, dental, medical, uh, spa and salon, so on and so forth. Um, I came out of the automotive world um, years ago. And I, when the internet first started, car agencies would build their sites in house, a lot of them, or they would hire somebody local to do it. And same thing with banks. This was before online banking. But did you see how it went? In other words, there, were, there are now entire systems built for banks. There's entire systems built for automotive car dealerships. And they're no different than this service or the Mind Body one. This is called Demand Force. This one's called Mind Body, but they all basically do the same thing. And what I'm, the point here is, are you going to try and compete with these guys with your WordPress business? Will you be able to keep up with all of these features? I think the, the answer is, is basically self-evident unless you want to go the big agency route and I know a lot of you don't want to do that. And so when, when you talk about what is the value that you bring to the table, you have to look at what your value is now compared to what it's going to be maybe 12 months down the road or maybe not even, maybe six months down the road. Okay, let's let me take a look at let's take a look at this one. Okay, so one of my clients is a school, a local high school. And they use this system to sell everything you can imagine. This is called squareup.com, where you can sign up for nothing and you can have an entire store set up in in, in minutes, literally. Okay, maybe not like a huge store with a bunch of stuff, but you know what I mean. You know how long it takes to set your prices, write descriptions. Most people have them already if they're already selling something. But if you move over to a system like this, you're not even paying for your web hosting. And they have point of sale tools. You can see these up here where if you have a physical, again, a physical location. So it says select your business size and then select your business type. And again, why would you build this into a, a WordPress site? I understand if you have clients who are small, small businesses. But you know, small businesses do not have the, the, the budget that large businesses do. I mean, that's just that's a, a, a common sense statement. And businesses that get larger, they want to scale up. So if everybody is starting to move to systems like this, and your small clients are getting bigger, don't think that they're just going to want to stay with WordPress because these systems have interfaces that are very, the UI experience is very simple, very easy to use, very easy to manage. And with systems like this, you don't even pay your, your credit card fee until you make the sale. So you're not paying a hosting fee and you're not paying a monthly credit card fee. And the percentages are basically the same as they are on PayPal. It's a little bit more if you do like a point of sale. But you can see everything is set up here to be easy. So when the high school is selling uh, their football jerseys, 
they have a little system like this set up that's connected to the website. Um, instead of building this system into their um, WordPress site, all they have is a link, and the link takes them to their Square Up page where people can make donations or they can pay for upcoming events and things like that. And so people are taking a look at what's happening in the WordPress space. What direction is WordPress going in? And, I, you know, for me, I'm trying to keep ahead of the curve at all times. That's the way I started this business, and that's the way I've continued it for the last 19 years that I've been in business, is trying to see not where just the ball is today, but where it's going tomorrow. And so it, unless you can build something, if you've been building like something like this in the past, your whole value proposition is going to change going forward because unless you're going to jump into this market, which is a totally different market, you're, you're going to need a fully staffed crew to be able to do it in a big way, in an effective way, not to mention the marketing budget to do it. If you look who's behind companies like this, they're big companies. They've got deep pockets. They're, they're, they're set up in San Francisco, several of them. They're you know in Silicon Valley. They've got investors, which means they're using other people's money. Unless you're doing that yourself, again, you're looking at a totally different business model. Okay, so I, I just want to put that out there. Um, again, I'm not a big fan of WooCommerce, but it, if you look at your your clients and your customers that you're dealing with, the chances are that going down the line, maybe they're not going to be either. Unless number one, either they just have a few products that they're selling, they want to keep it in their in their WordPress setup or system that they're using right now. But if they grow, the chances are they're going to be looking for something that's out of your box, that's out of your your realm. So either <clears throat> there's got to be a way to hook up with systems like this, or sellers like this, and become a reseller of the service, or to become an affiliate of the service, or to change the, your value proposition altogether, which is the way I approached it. So I, I went from a uh, website developer primarily in the late 80s, early 2000s, on to uh, marketing, consulting, and now in later years, putting the whole machine together. Being able to look at a business, take apart what it needs and what it doesn't need, be able to put it back together again and give the person a workable plan. And, and here's the, the thing that's so um, tempting about jumping into this is that there's nothing that you can see. If you're a website developer, you're a WordPress person, there's nothing basically that you can't do. There's a plugin for everything. There's um, people that can help you. You can build anything you want to build. It's not the building that's the issue. It's the maintaining. It's the customer service. It's the marketing. It's all those other things that happen after the thing is actually built is where you're going to pay the, the biggest price in as far as time, energy, focus, and profitability. Okay, so I just put that out there. This is just a heads up uh, to all of you. What I potentially see coming down the road, if we were in a consulting session right now, the next step would be for me to look over what you have and come up with a plan how you can adjust to this change that's coming. And in, for a lot of people, it's already here. You're already feeling the impact of these bigger software services. Anyway, thanks for listening. Feel free to comment below, and I'll see you the next time.